30 tonight. All week long, we've been helping you protect your identity by sharing these important tips. A lot of credit monitoring services now advertise that they offer dark web monitoring. It sounds impressive, but what exactly does that mean? Fox 44's Crystal Whitman has one local woman struggle to protect her information and the advice she has for all of us. According to the Consumer Federation of America, a lot of people have a false belief about the role of several credit monitoring services or even law enforcement agencies that say they can keep criminals from using your personal information. Attorney Chase Trussell says, in fact, they can't do either. The biggest problem with this is local authorities and even federal prosecutors, federal uh, FBI, they're not good at preventing uh, fraud with uh, when it comes to uh, um, your social security number, your bank accounts. So you have to be the arbiter of this. I mean, you, you really need to stay on top of it because once it happens, it's really hard to get it back. That's something Baton Rouge beautician Tanya Wright knows all too well. Wright says she's made the mistake of trusting the wrong company. I called a money transfer service. What I did, what I realized I did wrong was I got a phone number off the internet. I was later advised to never do that. Um, anyone can post a phone number on, on the internet under a company's name and it not be legitimate. And some advice that Trishel recommends is to download apps to your credit cards to monitor purchases and use credit monitoring sites. Credit Karma is one of them. That's the one I use. They will monitor your credit for free. Now they might try to get you to, to apply for certain loans and credit cards, you know, just like advertising, but the point is you can actually look at your credit report. It's not a FICO report. This is a TransUnion and Equifax report, and you can know your credit score. They update it every seven days, um, and it will tell you any time a loan has been provided or has been uh, uh, applied for, any time an account is closed or open, it will tell you. It will email you and it will send you text notifications if you want it to. Also, shred your mail, don't carry your social security card with you, and go through those bank statements with a fine tooth comb. There's a bank statement rule. It's a federal law, which means you have 30 days to review those statements to find something that's amiss. If something's wrong within 30 days of that statement and you alight your bank of that, it's not on you. You actually will get your money back. If 30 days pass, even if it's fraudulent and you didn't catch it, it's no longer on the bank, it's then on the consumer. So get your bank. And with so much of our personal information already compromised, consumer Tanya Wright says from now on, she'll be vigilant, always on the lookout for signs of the next fraud. When we're using passwords, try not to be so cute with them. You know, try to be creative, but definitely use passwords that not only are you going to remember, but are complicated, you know, sometimes we get caught up in being short and quick so we can remember, but think about the cost. Is it worth the cost? You know, the hacker is always one step ahead of us and we got to remember that. That's the way. For Fox 44 News, I'm Crystal Whitman.